Hello and welcome to the discussion on EEA Family Permit Visa, the category of visa which has been denied to so many Indian nationals earlier this year. To worsen the situation, there has been no response for the application submitted by the applicant since March 2017. Sad yet true, there is no one to shoulder or acknowledge the situation that has divided families into two parts. Let us understand more on this from our immigration solicitor, Falguni Bai Pare. Thanks for being here today. So, to aware our audience first about the issue, we would like to know what is EEA Family Permit Visa. Yes, so the EEA Family Permit Visa allows um, a non-EU national to join a European Union national who is exercised the treaty rights by entering the UK. Um, these people could be their spouses, could be their children, could be their extended families like their uncle, aunts, brothers, parents, etc. And what are the requirements to apply for this application? So there is not a very complex category of application. Um, there's a very limited requirements. Predominantly you have to prove that, that the sponsor is an EU national. He has entered the UK exercising his treaty rights. When he is in UK, he's either taken up an employment or he is self-employed by setting up a business, or he's a student in the UK, or they have a sufficient money to take care of themselves whilst they're in the UK. You have to prove that there's a relationship between the applicant and the sponsor while applying under this category of EA family permit. So generally speaking, how much time does it take for the decision to come up? The published timelines that the Home Office has put up on their website says that they would decide any applications between say 4 weeks to 12 weeks uh, under this category. And what is the issue going on right now? What, what has happened? So the issue at the moment is they're not deciding any applications. Um, most of these applications has way past the 12 weeks duration. And, um, and some of them has been like for the past six months, which is, which is of a concern at the moment, which, which is creating a lot of anxiety in the people. Like really, have you contacted the authorities? Or what is their response? Yes, so all attempts have been made to contact the authorities. They have something like a bait services, where you can speak and ask them on what's happening with the applications. And there's been a standard response been sent out by them to say some checks have been required to be made in the applications. We can't really commit on how long this is going to take and we can't really tell you on when we're going to decide on, on, on your applications here. And how is it impacting the people's lives? So this is something is coming up as a major concern to say that this is this particular um, response that they're receiving is only for applications happening under EA family permit and whilst we understand and agree that they may require some checks to be made for one application or perhaps two or perhaps three it is very difficult to accept that they have to make checks for everybody who's applying under EA family permit applications and and on the other hand there are other people who are applying for say visit visas or student visa or dependent visas or spouse visas they are receiving their decisions, which is it's just the EA family permit applicants not receiving any decisions for the applications filed by them. And given in light the political situation which is in the UK, where they've done formal announcement to, to, um, to Brexit, um, but after that there's been no announcement to say, look, we're going to stop all the applicants from applying under this category. We're not going to decide any applications under this category which is compounding um, this particular situation at the moment because on one hand Britain and the other EU countries are, 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 are abiding by all the treaty rights which means when a British national is trying to move to any of the European Union country with their dependents they're not being stopped or their application's not been delayed it's particularly the UK Home Office and, and, and Britain which is stopping the EU family permit applicants from entering by way of not deciding the applications at the moment. So clearly we can see this is a very critical situation. We would like to urge the Home Office and the concerned authorities to respond at the earliest. This is taking a toll on people's peaceful lives. Thank you. Thank you for watching.